So the packaging of Intel's upcoming ninth generation processors has leaked out and it is, well, <laughs> very bright. Now AMD upped the ante with their packaging game with their beautifully designed Threadripper boxes and it looks like Intel took note because this particular design. The package is semi-transparent and has 12 sides making it a dodecahedron and this is an odd choice because the processor has 16 threads so a hexadecagon would have probably been more appropriate or even an octohedron like the uh, Destiny Ingrams. Must say however, the packaging looks pretty great and it's clear that the processor is meant for the mainstream or semi-enthusiast category and well, marketing has finally caught on as well. Now the image which appears to be an Amazon listing doesn't actually state that it's the Core i9-9900K but considering this is a processor which has 8 cores and 16 threads it's pretty clear that they're referring to the Core i9-9900K. The part is supposed to launch pretty soon according to previous leaks and will be the first time Intel introduces a part worth 8 cores to its mainstream platform. It also marks the first time that Intel Core i7, the Core i7-9700K, ships without hyper-threading in recent times. Needless to say, this is going to be one interesting lineup. The insanely high clocks should make this the perfect CPU for gamers. The Core i9-9900K is the flagship part of Intel's upcoming 9th generation lineup and will feature 8 cores with hyper-threading enabled. So again, 8 cores, 16 threads. The real fun comparison will be between the Core i9-9900K and the Core i7-9700K, which also has 8 cores, but no hyper-threading. So 8 cores and 8 threads. Supposedly, the Core i9-9900K can boost to an absolutely insane 5 GHz clock on air when dealing with a single core, dual core turbos and up to 4.7 GHz on all 8 cores. All 9th generation parts are fabbed on the 14 nanometer plus plus process, so just two pluses this goes around, and MSRP has already leaked out. So this could be quite the interesting launch when comparing to something like the Ryzen 7 2700X, especially considering the price disparity between the parts. Hmm. So what are your thoughts on this and which part are you most likely interested in seeing? Do you think the 9700K is a bad move since it's technically going to carry less threads than last generation's i7 8700K? And well, I mean a lot is left to be seen. So let us know what you think about that and if you've made it to this point, let me know what you think about going back to this style of video where I do the voice overlay with a gameplay in the background rather than seeing my face. So I don't know. It's just an experiment to see what you guys think. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next video.